Oh my god. In the chair. So we're starting this explore off of this abandoned restaurant and I think it's called the Thirsty Weasel or something. I'll confirm that shortly, but oh, what's this? Sign-in sheet, choice properties. Huh. Now this restaurant has been abandoned for several years and we actually spotted it on a road trip maybe last year and never got in. Then we were in the area, so we decided to check it out, and sure enough, it's wide open and not in the greatest shape. Now, you may notice these little orange stickers throughout. Now, it says on there, Res restaurant, equipment, auctioneers, and liquidators. So, obviously, once this place closed down, they had someone come in here and liquidate it all, get rid of it all, sell off what they can, make some bucks, so this is obviously a nice big dining room. That was the front entrance we originally had there, passed through some bathrooms. But look, at, I wonder if that beam up there is for, for like sale too, because these are nice. Is that a solid beam? No, it's not a solid beam. This is a pretty nice room, like nice woodwork throughout. Now, this is kind of like a vacation kind of a town. So I could fully see this being torn down and putting putting like a little condo in here or something like that so let's just continue on so like i said that was a big dining room now this here this is going to be into the kitchen area and this is actually really big which is great i worked in the kitchen before and it was probably the size of this like entire nook <laughs> but this thing is beautiful huge kitchen Now, just so you know, sorry for whipping around too fast. That sign right there, kitchen staff only, that door, that goes right outside. Not going to do that. And down here is the creepy basement, which we'll check out in a bit. It's going to do all the upper floors first, guys. So this is probably going to be the servers coming in out of here, maybe. And there's that dining room we were just at before. And you've got your, probably your fryers right here some kind of prep area might be fryers i can't tell it looks like yeah eh, doesn't really matter oh what's it say there salad table oh, okay so this is just a refrigerator unit so you would have had your salad condiments in here these fry baskets are out of place that's what's throwing me off this looks like a big butcher block kind of a table and grain or side grain i guess that would be yeah, and of course, we've got some really, really bad graffiti there, but it is what it is. I mean, this place, the windows all around have people writing their names in them in the dirt and stuff. So, I mean, it's not a surprise. And look at this. Like, it's been, it's pretty trashed, but I mean, it's still pretty interesting. And the nice thing is, is that everything, like so much of the stuff has actually been repurposed, rescued and repurposed. So this is, I bet you this would have been the bar, actually. Looking at that, you got all those refrigerators right there. This would have been a wall kind of running along where that bottom piece is right along there. Yeah, so you have your bar right here. Then you got a nice fireplace. It looks like we have some pretty serious uh, water damage. Oh my gosh, I can see right outside through that hole, out the other hole. And oh, now there is a patio. I'll show you guys outside. Well, it's like super overgrown. I think the patio has been abandoned a lot longer than the restaurant. But I'm not 100% sure, guys. I love the vines. These vines are sneaking 
up and in the place through the window somehow. Like nature always seems to find a way when it wants to. And I do love these beams. See, I see, there's another one here. This is Bernie's Greenies, Canadian Nuts. I don't know if this is actually the current restaurant, but I saw some other uh, menus, which I'll show you where those are later. And again, here we're back at the front door. And I don't know if I mentioned, but like, look at the stained glass. I don't know, hopefully, oh yeah, you can see it good. This is beautiful. And here's your main door entrance. Let's see if we can get it to, there we go. Not so bright. Then you got another one of those side light kind of deals. You walk in and there's your hostess would be sitting right over there. There's our gear. And then up here, there's a, up here is gonna be like the private office area, I'm assuming. Cause it's not really a place to go up and eat. No, no, it's definitely like private office area. Got a hole in the ceiling right there. Kind of smells. I feel like there's raccoons that have been in, put up in here and looks like there's some poop in the corner from one. Skylight, big time failing. Oh, look at this fridge. You got one of those old school refrigerators. Very cool. So I'm wondering if this is like, office or if it was like a living area. Cause this could have been like a little bedroom nook kind of sort of a place you got some nice art around the window it's like someone's doing drugs up here we got a little baggy yeah like, mm, restaurant kitchen floors and stuff always super greasy and dirty just from everything so yeah and tracking it up here in the bottom of your shoes Oh dang, look at this. You got like a huge, like whirlpool, jacuzzi tub. And this massive bathroom above the restaurant. That's kind of random. Huh. So definitely somebody must have been living up here. Oh wow. That's a really bad, uh, Sunroof. So this is, I mean, I have no idea exactly how long, guys. I will try to do some research. If you know, let me know in the comments down below because I am curious about this place, obviously. Oh, there's a crawl space back here. You can see in. Yeah, I'm not going in there. That just leads over to where that big dining room was. Not a lot left behind, but still interesting. And I'm sure people from the area will know, recognize it and be able to tell their own stories about it. So now I'm gonna head to the basement. Are you coming with? Okay. <gasps> Just kidding. <Jesus. laughs> Are you coming? <laughs> Oh, I got a bathroom here. Oh, look at this. You got an old pay telephone. The actual handle's missing. That's cool. Zurich, Ontario, Canada. I'm not gonna go in the bathroom. We'll have a little, no, don't really care. Nothing really interesting. That sign is pretty neat. Gents. So we got a storage room, looks like here. Oh yeah, here's your power boxes. Wow, that's major. Must be, oh, for the, uh, all the cooking equipment. There's ladies room over there. Okay, so this is probably the actual offices are down here in the depths of the restaurant basement. Oh, look at this. There's like a, a hidden room with a friggin' fireplace that's super, super moldy. Okay, so this is great directly below the other fireplace and then over here we've got a super decayed desk oh. that's cool it gets really really rotten it's 
okay. And then look at this. Look at this stuff. Holy crap. Look at the hooks. Look at this. Ew, what is that? Holy cow, look at this friggin' desk. Oh my god. And the chair. Ew, what is that? Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. This is Yeah, let's get out of this room. Ugh. See what else we got. That was a really bad room. So this is like another kitchen area. This is kind of below the kitchen itself. Tons of dishes. Oh, and there's big like ovens. Are oh, you gonna go first with the flashlight? That's okay. <laughs> Some storage. Okay, here we go. See, this is where I seen the thirsty fox. That's what it was. Thirsty fox. Random storage. This just goes under nothing. Anything over here? No. Looks like we got some bathrooms back here. Ladies and gents. This just seems to be all storage. Which, you need a lot of that when you're making a restaurant. Pretty cool spot. That decay was wild.